have a selection of skin lighters that have been seized. Uh, there's some fake DVDs here. Southwark Council's Trade and Standards Department had a busy year last year. Its officers seized thousands of illegal and counterfeit items from all over the borough. Illegal alcohol, fake designer brands and counterfeit electrical goods are just some of the things prevented from being sold to the public. But the item that was seized the most was illegal skin lightening cream. Last year we took part in a London-wide trading standards project which would involve test purchasing of skin lighteners in cosmetic shops, typically Afro-Caribbean hair and cosmetic shops that are found in most high streets in, in inner London. And once those test purchases were analysed, it was determined a high percentage actually failed the regulations. And the regulation for skin lighteners are covered by European law and basically skin lighteners are not allowed to have hydroquinone in them and they're not allowed to have steroids in them. In this country, the sale of steroid-based product, you would require that to be on prescription only from a pharmacist. But unfortunately, because of the side effect of skin lighteners of these steroid products, we find them marketed in um, skin lighteners that have come from outside the European Union or are, or are made within the Union for markets outside. Southwark Council say it's determined to continue to wipe off illegal skin lightening creams from shop shelves across the borough and have put measures in place to do so. We've made uh, several visits uh, to traders, uh, particularly in areas which we think is significantly at risk of this product being sold. We are comforted that uh, it's not the majority of traders at all, um, but we know that there are still some of these items being sold, not, mostly not in open uh, market, but that, and that's why it's important that we continue to carry on the work we're doing um, in continuing to investigate both uh, overtly and covertly uh, to ensure that we bring them to justice. Illegal skin lightening creams like this are a major safety concern for Southwark Council. But just what damage does it do if someone was to use it? The main concern is a condition called exogenous ochronosis, where paradoxically you get pigment being deposited into the skin. The other issue with hydroquinone is a theoretical risk of skin cancer because one of its derivatives is benzene, and benzene is a carcinogenic agent. So we do worry, potentially, if this agent is used long term, that it may be associated with skin cancer. When we come to the potent steroids, we are concerned about problems such as skin infections, stretch marks, thinning of the skin. And if you are going to be using highly potent steroids over widespread areas of the body for a long time, you are also concerned about the risk of high blood pressure, diabetes, so systemic side effects. The health risks related to the use of illegal skin lighteners are high, so experts are urging consumers as well as traders to be vigilant on the stocking and use of these products.